Hello, friends of JM Pro TV. So we are in Atlanta, Georgia. Today is Friday, so now we're broadcasting live directly from the Money Money for Our Movements event. Thank you to all uh, the people that made part of this uh, this journey possible. So all the founders, so Amy Mandel and Katrina Ross Foundation, and many other founders that are supporting this event. So JM Pro TV will be broadcasting this event, uh, not all the event, but some parts of the event. So we love to hear from you. So what would you like to to see? I think the all the information is in Spanish and in English online. So right now is the opening, and uh, our friends of uh, Son, so the people who is in the table, uh, we'll, we'll move the camera in a little bit. So it is Mary Hooks, Paulina Helm, and Dara Cooper, and uh, somebody that uh, we know in the community in Nashville, which is uh, Nicole Marin, is already in, uh, in the table. So. We thank you for uh, being in this live streaming. So we'll be broadcasting. So let us know any question or or if you if you want us to interview somebody. So also let us know. So we we will just move the camera for you to see. So in this part of the this opening, they are answering questions about what happened in the uh, answering questions about their organization and about the speech they and, um, purely engaged. So we're going to move the camera, and you're going to listen more about this important event. But people don't respect that. How do you? And folks go in about, you know, and we can talk about it. It is a thing that nonprofit industrial complex. But I know it's probably like probably a good four or five workshops on that. And that is a thing. And we are saying that when we make a decision, when we made a conscious decision inside of song, we want to build a skill, we're gonna have to like get some money in order to do the work we need to do for our folk. That oftentimes people have seen people or like look at, you know, oh, people give money from these foundations and talking mad, mad shit, right? But ain't said nothing, ain't said nothing about the freedom that you just been in. Ain't said nothing about the travel stipend that got you into this place. Ain't said nothing. Like, how do you think that shit happened? Because somebody else just took off our sweatpants, which I'd much rather wear, get gay glossy, go in those rooms, make a decision to stand in my power, bring our people there, and say what it is we need. And if you don't want to give it to us, keep it moving, honey, this ain't for you. Movements are funded, but you can do it. Stay true to yourself. 
yourself for your people in the room. If they don't want to fund it, yo, who gives two shits? It ain't for them to. You know what I mean? They don't get to claim this work. It ain't for them. If they don't feel it ain't spirit, they don't put them nowhere. You don't want that. Thank you so much.
Enfócame a mí. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, a mí. Okay. Hey, uh, friends of JM Pro TV. So, just finished. Thank you for being there. And, all, and also, thank you to all the people that is connected to this uh, live view. I just want to um, say hi to all the friends that are uh, giving me this So, um, also, let me see. Uh, a uh, big sense to Amy Mandel and all her support. Alan from Son, uh, just for, thank you for sharing the video. All, all the people, Aid Valdez, Rodolfo, Adrien, Linda. So there's many, many thanks for everybody So and for your support. So we will be asking some questions. We see some very wonderful people here. We're going to try to get the people from the table. And we will be just back to you. If you just please wait for us uh, a little bit until we get some people to talk. So we're not going to end this uh, live streaming because we don't want to lose the connection. But I uh, will be back in a few. Uh, but uh, before going, I just want to introduce Magali. Magali is the executive director of JM Pro TV. So, say Magali, so how are you liking this uh, conference so far? Um, can I do this in Spanish? Oh. I'm, I'm really enjoying. I mean, there is a lot of uh, people with a lot of experience, and there is a great opportunity for us to learn not only skills, but also um, examples of successful um, efforts to support our movement. So I'm very, very excited. There is a lot of great people here. We just heard Paulina, a former worker from Song. We just saw um, uh, many, many people. I mean, I'm very excited. I cannot say the name. <laughs> And also, uh, we're going to switch a little bit to Spanish, so for all the uh, audience, so muchísimas gracias por estar allí, gracias a todas las personas que están compartiendo el video, vamos a conversar con más gente, ajá, to ustedes pueden encontrar más información en la web, ¿verdad Magali? ¿Tiene una... Sí, hay mucha información, hay una página web y toda una lista de registros eh, de, los, de las conferencias que se van a llevar a cabo, entonces vamos a estar uh, conectándolos y compartiendo... Eh con nuestros grupos toda la información. Y si usted desea, ustedes desean una entrevista con alguien especial, envíenos su sugerencia, nosotros vamos a tratar de hacer todo lo posible para ubicar a las personas y si quieren, si tienen algún tema en específico también. So, este es un canal comunitario que queremos servir a la comunidad y a las organizaciones que trabajan por el desarrollo social. So, vamos a cambiar a inglés. So, once again, so thank you very much for your support and also if you like for us you go to the website for this event and if you want somebody to like to we ask an interview to them so we're happy to do it and also if you got a topic that you love to we we uh, can uh, have an interview about that yes. also yes so yes this will be a good opportunity for you uh, community to let us know uh, who you want to hear um, I just uh, was looking the bio of Nicole. Uh, uh, we're going to look for Nicole right now, so let's see. Yeah, so we are very excited to see uh, people that has been helping us in Nashville build the movement and now sharing their experience with another uh, people from all over the country, so that is really uh, nice. Okay, so we're going to try to gather some people for an interview here. Um, so please, uh, we will continue broadcasting, so we'll come back in a bit of, in a bit of few minutes. Thank you, Magali.
thank you for being uh, waiting for us. So we we found. Hey, how are you? We 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 just found a very good friend. Uh, so it's working for Son. So let me introduce you. You 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 what already know saying, her. Though? Uh, so we are broadcasting live, my dear Kate. So how are you? I'm doing really well. I haven't seen you in a in a month of Sundays, but I'm so <laughs> glad to be seeing you and to see yeah. Joaquin, and who to I see haven't Joaquin. seen yeah, in a Joaquin, long time so, either. So we're gonna back up a little bit to to have this a uh, little better shot. Let Joaquin, let me open the cam. Okay, now, how, yeah, I think we're better. Okay, so but how, what amazing event! It sure is. I'm, we're super excited to also have this uh, conference be happening in the South for the first time to also show them a little bit of our Atlanta flavor and our Southern flavor. So. Exactly. <laughs> and for all the people that is right now watching this program, also this Alan there, so he shared the video, from, it's also from Son. Great. Uh, please share with us more about your organization, Son, and what you do. Yeah, so SONG is a 25-year-old kinship organization made up of LGBTQ people, lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, queer people that are fighting uh, for racial and economic justice across the South. Uh, so we build kinship, meaning we build relationships across identity and experience and place so that we can build power um, to be able to take on community organizing fights to um, abolish ICE, to end money bail, and to fight the criminalization um, and isolation um, and caging of our communities. So it was also beautiful to hear a shout out from the plenary stage to Western North Carolina um, around all of the rapid response work and community infrastructure work um, that happened in Western North Carolina after the raid in the parachute factory in, I believe, yeah. 2009. Yeah, I um, and thinking about the ways that sort of all of what Western North Carolina was able to build um, inside of that tragedy and horror uh, that there are people here from across the country that are actually learning lessons from that in terms of the cooperative work, in terms of the tandas, in terms of the co-ops um, and all of that. So I was happy to hear Western North Carolina also get a shout out in this space this morning. So. So, and what, uh, what do you think we should uh, expect uh, from all the the outlet for, for, for this event. So how the the outlet um, all, <clears throat> with all those the people that is coming. So we're talking and discussing. Do, do we have something in concrete at the end? I'm not sure. I haven't uh, been able to look at the program. To be honest, I came because it was all song family that was on the plenary this morning, including Nikki, um, Bayana, and Paulina, and Mary Hooks. So I haven't looked at the whole agenda. But I think that the question of how do we resource and build our movements, our organizations, and our relationships to each other, uh, so that we can do the work that we need to do to transform our communities, is a is a ripe one um, and I thought that the sort of challenge and the charge that Mary Hooks put out um, asking you know who all in this room oh oh my god I had no idea That's okay. We're just like no, 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 no. We're, we're live, and that's what happened in real life. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, before like, before yeah, letting go, I just, I mean, we will share this joy of living. No, Magali, please join us <laughs> the conversation because we were talking about some, something intense. So I, I was asking about you know what happened after everything of this. You know, there's a lot of people, beautiful people here, but what happened at the end? Because we are in time, it looks like a war time, so we're being yeah. attacked, yeah. but so we don't have much time to lose. So it would be great if after this we can have come up with something. So what, what are your thoughts? I mean, I think that that's what, yeah, I was just speaking to earlier. I think the charge that Mary made, where she asked everybody that donates monthly, mm -hmm. Um, as a member to an organization to raise their hand and there were very few people in the audience that raised their hands that that's you know there's the 
mobilizing resources for all of the crises that we're facing and then there's the other question of how at the end of this can every single person that is in this room um, have made a commitment to join an organization as a member to contribute monthly to actually do the slow and steady building and long-term sometimes smaller support of our organization so that we're not just like throwing money when we can quote unquote or when we think it's important or it's caught our attention but we're actually saying we see the vision we know it's going to take a lot of us not just our individual organization so heck yeah I'm gonna join as a member to three or five other organizations and be able to contribute even two bucks a month because yes. yes. we need a whole yes. set of organizations to be able to win the fights um, that we need to win and to build the safety and community and networks that we need. That's excellent because we not only need the, the moral support of the people, we also need resources to keep yeah. all these projects, you know, sustainable. Mm -hmm. I, I agree, and there is a lot of organization in, in each region that you can support. Yeah. Like uh, right now, I can make a call to action. Yeah. If you know organization in our area, we live in Asheville, there is a lot of groups that need the support, as Katie say, This is not like a today. This is not an emergency. This is a long-term yeah. uh, sustainability yeah. project. So if you want to support and be part of this movement, support your dollars. And that all of us that are part of movement should be contributing monthly to organizations that we know are needed, even if they're not in our towns. I mean, there's a million to support in Atlanta, in Birmingham, in Asheville, what have you. Um, but I think that building out that practice so that we're not just thinking about uh, raising money only for ourselves yeah. and or only like once a year, I think, yeah. um, is the culture that we know we need. So. And also thank you to um, Amy. So Amy says, hi, Magali. <laughs> hey. Thank you for watching this, this, this uh, broadcasting. And, um, well, we'll let you go. You know you got a lot of things to do, Likewise. but we, we'll be like three days here, so we're going to ask you some days for more info because you got a lot of experience. And we're having a party tonight okay. um, at our office. I can write the address down for you, okay. but it's 580 Holderness. You can also see the house that is our office. Okay. Um, it would be great to talk with more people. Yeah, also, and, and we see. have some And show our community that an, an awesome example or some, you know, that yeah, we, can, yeah, we can learn from everybody. Everybody. Exactly. Okay. So come on over. I'll write the address down All for you. Right. Well, thank you. Thank you, Kate. Oh, my God. And, and, so, <laughs> and so we're going to end this transmission. So we are going to try to. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> so we're going to try to um, interview more people, but we're just going to cut this off and we'll come in uh, pretty soon with more. Thank you very much. Let me write it down for you. Um,